hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel it's a girl blessing i'm so excited to be with you today and to be discussing this great topic with you um it's an eye opener for a lot of people like it's worse for me um i'm speaking based on research and also personal experience as an ex-banker yes an ex-banker an ex 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 see banker all the bankers all the ex bankers say hi hi yeah so i'm going to be speaking on like the topic is how the bank is actually rubbing off rubbing us of our money yes the bank is actually taking from us and we are thinking we're saving the bank was created with the idea of actually helping us save our monies and all of that initially when the bank was created they, they were not charging all these charges and fees that they are charging on accounts when you want to withdraw money you want to transfer money there are certain charge on the account those things were not done when the bank was created it's a recent and new development so it's really not it, it, it was really not in the plan of the bank to be charging the customer. So the bank was supposed to make money from lending people money. So when you keep your money with them, they, they can you save your money with them. They can lend people that amount of money that you're not using and actually take interest from people. But that changed. And recently, the bank have been charging. Like, sometimes people have been coming out, calling banks, out because of the kind of charges they've been charging it's ugh, like if it's 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 something else you want to transfer they are charging you you are to so unless even there's a certain amount you want to deposit and the bank will still charge you for what for what is it for gary or is it for Elba? you know it's 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 really painful those charges and fee that's how the bank have been taking monies from everyone so imagine out of the billions of people in a particular country operating accounts every day and the people do more than one transactions with the one more than one transaction with the bank and we are being charged this month sometimes you see 50 something nera, this one that one 10 nera, five nera for the nigeria and other countries you know what to charge you in so it's it's really not nice if you add all those nera cover little drops of water mix and ocean you realize at the end of the month you really spent a whole lot of money just making transactions and a lot of people that are not financially educated think you keeping your money in the bank is actually the best way to save it it's not the best way to save it so keeping your money in the bank is going to like you're keeping it let's say you do not touch it for 30 days you're going to receive interest but that interest is very little it's not something very significant try it keep your money in, in your savings account for 30 days you realize that the interest that is coming on it at the end of the 30 days is not significant as long as you're going to touch that money in your account to do transactions you're going to be charged for it and to me it's not the best way to actually get rich or wealthy so right now i'm going to tell you and in you know another thing banks still use our money to actually lend to people and they get interest they use our money to do businesses and they still get interest why don't you use the money yourself to invest and to do business and make money for yourself so that's what i've come here to tell you you can invest you can use your money also and make money for yourself they will not like that i'm telling you this but it's a secret so let's discuss like family that we are because on this channel i'm here to help you in every way i can you're here to help each other that's why you're family you know what don't tell them our secrets it's in house so the first thing you can do let's say and i'm saying i'm going to be giving this advice also considering the fact that some people are low income earners they don't earn as much as some other Persons, some persons are low income earners. So I'm going to be actually giving this advice, being put in the mind people that earn 10,000, 5,000, 30,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000 in mind. And also people that earn much more can do much more. Number one thing you can do is community lending. 
what I mean coming what I mean by community lending is there are certain local organizations that actually even some that are actually registered they actually lend money pe to people so some of them are looking for investors in different sizes from buck investors to very low um, minimal investors so you can decide to be an investor with this company by saying hey i have thirty thousand i'm not using i can give you every month you are lending to these people i'm collecting 30 percent interest rate i am going to be taking 10 percent of the 30 percent you keep the 30 percent it's a good deal you win i win it's a win-win so you see you are actually letting your money work for you so it's a win-win you give it to them to run the show be careful to actually look for very good um, institutions or organizations that are doing this so you don't fall victim of fraudulent people. When you see them, invest with them, get your returns, clean your mouth, walk away. So instead of just keeping your money in the bank and you're getting 0, 0 something percent, you actually get 10%, 20% from lending to people that actually did the money in that period and you're getting your money. Another thing you could do is land banking. There's something in real estate you might for if you have block money you by all means buy land buy houses and all of that but if you are earning very little and if you're earning very little and you're looking for ways to actually increase your money that your money just sitting in the bank and the bank is robbing you of every time you're doing these transactions you know you don't need that money for a specific period of time take that money Put it or keep it with a real estate investment company that you can trust. They call it land banking. There are several real estate companies that do that. You can actually tell them, okay, I can be giving you 30,000, 50,000, 10,000 every month for a period of 12 months or for a period of five years. At the end of that year, it's either you use that money you've saved with them plus your interest to actually buy properties with them or you collect the money and your interest and you go home your returns on investment and you go home so either way it's a win-win situation for you your money is not sleeping in the bank where you're doing transaction on the account and they are charging you and you're getting very minimal interest another thing you should consider doing instead of just keeping your money in the bank and it's not earning enough for you and you're also being charged is to invest in stock and shares you can buy very little stock in different organizations research about different organization find out the organization that is doing pretty well find out even they are very small organization that still have stock but they're really doing pretty well you can find out how you can invest with this organization and actually invest with them and you see that over years even your children your children's children might still be beneficiaries of those stock or shares that you buy so you see it's a win-win and uh, money just sitting in the bank. Some people keep their money in the bank. They will even go. Nobody will know. When you are doing all this investment, let me tell somebody that will know that you are doing the investments. <laughs> okay, so it's a win-win buy stock, buy shares, you know. In, in, in years to come, that company will grow and you also grow together with the company. Another thing you can do is mutual funding. There's an expert on the bank that they don't really tell you about so when you enter the bank next time tell them you want to invest with their mutual funds a lot of bank have it a lot of banks have it mutual fund so find out from them how you can be a part of their mutual fund investment so mutual fund is actually an avenue whereby instead of their big projects to invest in their government projects to invest in their government bonds to buy there are a lot of things to actually invest money in but you need money in bulk to actually get so much profit from from this investment so what the bank actually creates is an avenue whereby you can bring your ten thousand i can bring my hundred thousand another person can bring that 10 million 20 million 100 million the each person in the community or in the fund can bring the little amount of money that they have we put the bank puts it together as a mutual fund and invest in the project at the end of the month you get your returns on investments and i could bet that the in returns you get on that those investments are actually far better than what you would get uh, they are far better than what you would get 
from just keeping your money in the bank so for a salary earner open a mutual fund account if you want to save 10,000, 20,000 a month, instead of keeping it in the bank where you are even tempted for the mutual fund, you do have access to it. So there's a level of discipline. For you to have access to your mutual fund, you have to write, you have to send mail, you have to do all those things, which is very difficult. With that in mind, it actually restricts you from assessing such investments. And there's a limited amount of time you have to keep that investment for you to have access to it. So mutual fund is another avenue of increasing the value of your money than just keeping it in the bank my last piece of tip to you to actually not let the bank steal from you again and you can increase your wealth is talk to a financial expert a financial investment expert you can say oh i don't have the money to go to a consultant or a professional it's fine in your sphere there's at least five people that are rich that are doing well we have a rich dad around us like our great mentor we say robert kiyosaki hola to you sir much respect yes we have a rich dad somewhere just waiting for us to ask them questions so instead of seeing those rich people are you thinking of the next two urgent 2k urgent 5k you're going to ask from them why don't you walk up to them and say sir ma bros uncle sister brother please is there a way you can teach me to invest the small money i have so that i can get more returns on investment i can get more value for my money instead of just keeping my money in the bank you'll be so surprised that these rich people are just waiting for you to give them an opportunity to teach you what to do and how to make wealth i'm still your girl blessing my prayer is that every one of us are going to be so wealthy we're going to be so rich we're going to be so prosperous it's my joy that i'll go through this life journey with you just to see you always always fulfilling your destiny it's still your girl blessing if you're new to my channel welcome i love you hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell please and if you are a returning viewer and subscriber you know all i have for you from this end is love 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 thank you see you guys next time on my channel i'll see your girl see your girl see your girl bye, -bye.